Whether we realize it or not, we need each other. PCC gets more out of each education dollar that is uh, provided to it than any other organization of its kind in this community. Financial support is, you know, one of the best things you can give anyone that's going to school. There's nothing more powerful than a motivated adult learner. It really is a nice feeling to know that I have support uh, through PCC and through the community. We embrace students from all walks of life. The sky's the limit. That's how I look at it. Second chance, sky's the limit. Can't nothing stop me. I feel so good because I've given them a dream, and everybody has to have a dream. It's another overcast spring morning in Portland, Oregon. At the campuses of Portland Community College, many of the more than 86,000 full and part-time students, one of every 15 Portland area residents, are heading for class. It could be a hot summer day or a cool autumn evening. PCC is a year-round affair, and classes are offered to engage every type of student young, old, and in between, part-time and full-time employees, young adults, mothers, fathers, grandparents, people in the trades, and company executives alike. I have a student that's next to me, maybe 43. There's a 23-year-old, 25. We're in different age groups. We experience different things in life, different backgrounds, different walks. And that's what I get here from PCC. 20-year-old Genta Trailer aspires to become a psychologist and help children and families to deal with the pressures of 21st century living. Her desire to give to others comes from the hard lessons she learned early on in her own life, caring for a drug-addicted mother. Much is given, much is required. And the reason why my life was preserved then is to do what I'm doing now, to help others, you know, to inspire others, not to just be that token, but to be that tangible individual. Like Genta, 29-year-old Ryan Prager is attending PCC with the goal of someday helping others. In his case, young men getting out of prison who want to start their lives over, just as he did when he left prison behind three years ago. His dreams, too, could not be realized without the financial assistance provided by a scholarship he received from the PCC Foundation. I feel that without the support and the resources and the opportunities that I've had through PCC, I wouldn't be in the place that I am now. I go to school and I work. That's all I do. Financial burden for, for students can hinder schoolwork, you know, because you got other things on your mind. How are you going to pay for this? How are you going to pay for that? They help me tremendously, you know, help me quite a bit. If it wasn't for them, I don't think that I could have financially made it through school. Joaquin Ariaga decided several years after leaving school that he wanted to finish high school so he could get his associate's degree in science and work on today's powerful diesel engines. I've already had a whole bunch of interviews while I've been here with different companies. They like the students out of Portland Community College better than anywhere else. We get more hands-on training. When I received my awards, it was kind of like a, an ego booster. It was encouraging me that, you know, I, I really am doing the right thing. The thing that strikes us about PCC is how it serves the community. It's affordable and it's everywhere. And it also serves the kinds of programs or offers the kinds of programs that every person can use. We have provided scholarship money for a number of years for the electrical trade specifically at PCC. We have a responsibility to have an ethical standard and that's to give back. We need to help men and women invest in themselves through the lifelong learning process. Barbara Heitzman and her mother established a scholarship in her father's name back in the 1970s. They knew that he had always wished he had gone to college and that making that possible for some PCC students was the best way to honor his memory. We want to help the people that need it the most. I know every little bit helps, and we get the nicest letters from people. That's so heartwarming to know that they really appreciate it. We have established a Patty Jean Samura Scholarship Endowment in honor of our daughter, who was a Stanford University student who died of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. A scholarship or some kind of award often allows students to believe in themselves. 
to me, it's, it's not so much a financial support as by getting that money, it's also an emotional support too. The money and support is well appreciated and needed. It really is just um, peace of mind, I guess, is, is how, how, to, how to say it. I would encourage people to help, uh, to, to donate or to just be involved in Portland Community College because it's, it changes people's lives. Four out of ten of PCC students need financial help to attend college. Support of the PCC Foundation doesn't just change one student's life, it changes the community. You can help make a student's dream of a quality college education come true through your support of the PCC Foundation.